Hello YouTubers, today's video I'm going to be doing a walleye fish fillet dinner on my portable Blackstone griddle. Now I've got three fillets of walleye and that came fresh from Lake St. Clair uh, via my close and personal friend across the street who lives over there and today I'm putting in uh, I've coated one with Cajun seasoning. The another, another one, the center one here, is going to have a celestial blend that I got from a spice shop in Tarpon Springs. That could also be ordered. And then on the third one, I'm going to use a Creole seasoning. So I'm just going to kind of mix it up a little bit. I've already put some olive oil on my griddle. So we're letting this heat up. And then we're going to be putting this on, and as soon as I put the flays on, I'm going to uh, hit them with another coat of uh, seasoning on the other side. One thing I want to mention that uh, with fish fillets, you don't have to worry so much about undercooking them. You can overcook it, but undercooking is not so bad, primarily because you know, you, you are served uh, sushi all the time, which is basically just raw fish, raw tuna, so on and so forth. Uh, so, I don't worry too much about the temperature. What I look at is how flaky it is when I'm ready to pull it off. And I'll put it on one side, I'll let it cook for a little bit, and then I'll flip it over. It does not take very long, it only takes a few minutes on each side. So, we'll just go ahead and uh, get her loaded up and uh, start cooking it. I've already put a little olive oil on top of my uh, uh, fillets. Be very careful well, as far as where you place this bottle. You want to get too close to the griddle because it will melt rather easily. I'm going to take my Cajun seasoning and I'm going to sprinkle a little bit on the top here. I don't like to do too much because I don't want it too spicy. The next one is my Coastal Blend. It's a nice citrus that I really enjoy. This is probably one of my favorite seasonings. And then the last one is going to be my Creole. And we just sprinkle that over the top of it. I've got my garlic toast that I'm cooking right now. And that's heating up on the grill or in the griddle, and I've got those at a very low setting on both my fillets and uh, my jelly toast. Okay, it looks like my jelly toast is doing pretty good, and I'll flip that over. Oh yeah. I've already talked in other videos about the garlic toast and how I like to use hamburg buns for bread. Hamburg buns I like the best. These just happen to be just ordinary hamburg buns. I do like the onion buns that I get from time to time. I'll put this at the lays over. It's got like a nice little golden brown cream kind of That's just a little, that's some of the seasoning. That's a little dark there. Again, we got three different types of seasoning, and this is just a seasoning that's a coastal blend. So that's got a little bit coastal a little bit more. Not going to take very long. I'm going to go ahead and hit it with a little bit more oil. Maybe a touch of water here to kind of give it a little steam effect. Second. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull my toast and just lay it right on the warming rack. It's, like I said before, this keeps it nice and warm. Of water there. 
and let the hood do a little bit. Normally, I will use my uh, cover here, but now this is working pretty good. Okay, let's take a look at it. Like I said, it doesn't take very long. Oh yeah, those are nice and flaky. Those are ready to come off. Okay, so I don't get them mixed up. I'm going to take my Cajun off. This one is my uh, postal blend. So there's these pieces of fish. You know, I was always scared of fish, but you know, the more I do it, the easier it gets. And like I said, you can't underdo it. I'll grab my toast here. And shut my burners off. Creep this off a little bit. Get my griddle clean. And the, just like in cast iron, the more you use it, the better it is for it. Because what you're doing is you're giving it a real nice seasoning. And I'll go ahead and take her in. So tonight's dinner is I've got a toss salad, which was pre-bagged or pre-mixed. And I picked that up at my local grocery store and uh, in the produce department. I sliced up a tomato. I had three slices. I've got that covered with uh, blue cheese dressing. The salad, by the way, I have my favorite blend is French and blue cheese dressing. Not that good as far as calories, but it's very tasty. And tonight I'm kind of going to enjoy it. I've got my three pieces of fish. One's going to be the Cajun, one's a Celestial Blend or Coastal Blend, and the other one is my Creole flavor. And then, of course, my garlic toast with some Arizona iced tea. Makes a real nice balanced meal. And this, I've got enough for myself, and I have enough fish, salad, and everything else for another person. So this is actually suitable for dinner for one or two. Since it's just going to be me tonight, I've got enough for my lunch tomorrow or even dinner. So I'll put everything in the refrigerator like the fish fillets and I've got leftover salad and I've got plenty of tomato. So it's going to make for a nice dinner. Of course, you just increase your quantities to have a larger dinner or for dinner for more people. So this is going to be a very good meal for tonight. I hope you enjoyed this method of fixing a walleye dinner for one or two people. And if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And most of all, thanks for watching.